That's right. We are looking at cooler temperatures over the next couple of days. But don't worry. If you want that hot weather back, you'll just have to wait until we get into this weekend. But yesterday, we saw some nicer temperatures, I'd say. 78 degrees was the high in Eugene. That's 6 degrees below average for this time of year. And again, on Saturday, we made it up into the 90s at 93 in Eugene and 95 in Roseburg on Saturday. So a nice cool down from that even yesterday. Highs across the rest of the area. We saw 86 in Bend yesterday along I-5, 81 in Corvallis, and 82 for those of you in Roseburg. 64 in Newport and 68 for your high temperatures on Sunday along the coast. This morning, you're waking up in those 50s all along the coast along I-5, 50s from Corvallis to Cottage Grove, but 60 degrees in Roseburg and moving into Central Oregon, looking at those low 50s at this hour. Satellite radar showing a lot of clouds pushing across the area. Again, picking up some showers. This is most likely actually the radar site, which is the closest one is up, up into Portland. And so when it goes up in the sky, it actually increases at elevation. So that radar site is most likely actually picking up some of those low clouds there. But again, if you live in Coos County and Douglas County and you are getting sprinkles, let me know on Twitter or Facebook. None of the weather sites are reporting that actually any of that is making it to the ground. We do have some changes coming as we get into tomorrow and Wednesday as we're watching this storm up in the Gulf of Alaska. That'll move its way along the coastline and inland tomorrow afternoon, bringing us some showers and also some thunderstorms into the Cascades and Central Oregon. And then we have even more changes once we get into this weekend. But over the next 36 hours and put things into motion on Stormcast, there's that storm again. It's working its way right along the Canadian coastline there. Offshore as we stop it early tomorrow afternoon, beginning to see a few light showers though trying to push inland. Most of the moisture though still offshore. That's going to move inland Tuesday evening and especially in the overnight hours. And we'll continue to keep showers throughout the day on Wednesday and also cooler temperatures. The coolest day will be Wednesday before temperatures rebounding into next weekend. Along the coast this afternoon, expect mid to upper 60s. A cloudy start out there right now, possibly some drizzle as well this morning. By this afternoon, you'll see more sunshine. The Amco Basin high temperatures later today getting into those low 80s. Also seeing more sunshine this afternoon. Over the past is looking at temperatures near 70 degrees. The foothills in the mid 70s. Slight chance for a thunderstorm mainly will land it past south. Most of the activity will stay to the south today. Not going to be the case though as we head into tomorrow. Central Oregon highs will be into the upper 70s, low 80s this afternoon. And for the Willamette Valley, a lot of clouds out there this morning. We'll see more sunshine later today with temperatures back near 80 degrees. Here's a look at the seven day forecast for those of you who live along the coast. Showers again in the afternoon continuing throughout the day on Wednesday. By this weekend, though, that sunshine quickly returning. For those in the Amqua Basin, showers tomorrow afternoon into Wednesday. Not going to rule out a thunderstorm Tuesday night, especially in those mountainous regions in Douglas County, so make sure you are prepared for that. Um, that only means some lightning out there. Temperatures will cool off to about 80 degrees on Wednesday for the highs, but take a look at next weekend. We're back into those low to mid 90s. For the Cascades, slight chance for a thunderstorm today, but a better chance tomorrow afternoon and overnight on Tuesday into Wednesday. Temperatures will cool down to about 60 degrees for the highs on Wednesday, but by this weekend, we're back into those low 80s. For the Willamette Valley, you're going to see temperatures to slide into the mid 70s by Wednesdays, Wednesday. Showers starting Tuesday afternoon, continuing throughout the day on Wednesday, and then as we get into the end of the week and into the weekend. High pressure building back on in, bringing us a lot more sunshine and also warmer temperatures. Highs will climb back into those low 90s both Saturday and Sunday.